uh, it's finally out, and I'm... Uh, I'm back to being a scrub level zero. <laughs> you inferior nerdling, I'm assuming you want to learn a great way to level up fast. Exploits! Uh, no, 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 not, not that again. Well, I, I suppose I'll just shoot some enemies to level up. Well, wait a minute. I know a better way- I am a Destiny 1 veteran pro. Don't tell me what to do. Welcome, everybody, to a video teaching you how to get that pathetic low-level life guardian of yours to become a- Fancy pants guardian. Before we start, let's take a few things into consideration. Having a buddy or two in your fire team is massively going to help you out, as well as leveling up your potential clan experience. Having a ghost with an XP bonus on a certain planet will also help a lot, if you're lucky enough to acquire one, of course. Alright, let's get into the mindless grind for greatness. First tip, frickin' public events! Half of the commentators by now will say, Wow, you're telling us just to play the game, what a clickbaiter! But there's more to public events than just public events. There's HEROIC PUBLIC EVENTS! These bad boy heroic events are activated within a public event, with the promise of far greater loot, including engrams from rare to exotics, and then a ton of side things like glimmer, those little Chuck E. Cheese-like tokens where every kid's a winner, that sort of stuff. Not only do these give out great loot, but they also power level your character, giving you a ton of fast experience for every single one completed, beating out any other way to level up quickly by a mile. But keep in mind, we're talking about two whole different leveling systems here. You've got the regular leveling, 1 to 20, and light leveling. Now, of course, getting to level 20 can be the crazy grind. Then, getting up to that higher light level, well, once you've got one character up, it's easy to get the rest of them up. But how exactly does this work? Well, head off to a planet near you and stay super active with public events. These are constantly refreshing and always going on somewhere. So whichever planet you're on, you just simply travel to the next one available. A public event can be completed efficiently with two or more players. If you run solo, you run the risk of not being able to do a total 100% completion, which means that you get a whole lot less gear, meaning that your ghost will say something like this. Yeah, go on. Run back to your ship. He actually means, here's a bunch of crap for not even completing the public event, you moron! Now some of you might want to know, how does this compare to other experience gaining techniques? From things like patrol, you get around a thousand XP, but not always good loot. From completing a lost sector, another 1000 experience with usually better loot. Adventures just take way too long to be considered a fast way to level up, but public events, which take under 5 minutes, can give anywhere from 2500 to 3500 experience. Unless you're unlucky and you get 20. Oh, come on! So with that being said, make sure you know each heroic event and how it can be activated. I've taken the liberty to compile a montage here to literally show you each and every heroic event and how it can be activated. When you're doing a Cabal mining unit, they will send in one of those very weak ships that Ikora elbow dropped, destroy the ship to trigger the event. For Vex Constructs, you'll notice lines pointing out of the center. Those will lead you straight to capture points, in which you'll need to stand and capture three of those points to trigger the event. With the Glimmer Extraction, at each station there will be these three generator looking things that will appear. If you destroy all three of them at each station, the heroic event will be triggered. For the Hive Witches, you need to stand on the two circles in order to remove their shields. Once those guys are toasted, two crystals up in the top left and right corners, once again their shields are removed by standing on the circles, must be destroyed to trigger the heroic version. Alright, this is a fun one, the Big Walker Dudes. Notice when you shoot its leg, it drops those orbs? Well, you're gonna pick those up and cram them into the orb holding thingies around the area. Once that's done, a second Big Walker comes on in, and that is the heroic event. For the Aether Supply event, there will be a massive Servitor, which is obviously the main target until he spawns the smaller ones, in which you will need to kill off every single one of those inferior versions. They don't last forever though, so if you do not kill them as quick as possible, they will dissipate faster than the excitement of being a Genji main. For the Cabal Big Rig events, there is a massive dome that spawns over the top, and if this says evacuate, then you need to make like a tree and run for your freaking life! But wait, notice how these vents open up every single time you kill one of those main scions? It's time for you to try and sustain a bit of damage. Stay inside of the dome and take down these open vents, triggering the heroic event. And finally, you've got the Taken events, in which you need to step inside of the smaller blight circles that you will then receive the power of Big Bubble Popping. Meaning that you can now shoot the main blight in the center. Once the blight is dead, he will spawn his bubble buddy in which you will kick his butt. 
Now, each and every event will give you either tokens, gear, shaders, sometimes legendary or exotic engrams even, allowing you to push up those light levels or get a good chunk of experience, literally being a fire hose of leveling for your guardians. Anywho, I hope this video has been educational or whatever, but remember, if you want to power grind your guardian from level 1 to level 500 in 10 minutes, all you need to do is to...